Love is in the air, isn't it? It's February, which means it's National Heart Month, Valentine's Day, and we're going to find out what foods to eat this month and all year round to keep your heart healthy. Welcome to Sarah RDTV. When I say heart health, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Well, there's lots of different things we can do to keep our heart healthy, keep our weight under control, exercise, but I wanna talk about awesome foods that we wanna eat most of the time to keep our heart the strongest possible. And this includes children over the age of two, so listen up. Fruits and vegetables, I always start with those, right? The more we eat of those, of course, strawberries, tomatoes, anything red, just like our heart, we wanna include at least five of those a day. And then one of my favorite foods, nuts and chocolate. Um, if we include more of those at least a few times a week, it doesn't matter the kind, but a huge variety will definitely keep your, your blood vessels nice and uh, smooth. Beans are another amazing food that we wanna to try to include at least a few times a week. I'm a little bit passionate about lentils, mainly because I don't have to soak them like the dry beans, but you can put these in the slow cooker overnight, you don't have to deal with it. Lentils though, you just add them to some chicken stocks, add some vegetables, some seasonings, like some low sodium or salt-free seasonings and just a dash of salt and you will have a very filling, high protein, very cholesterol lowering meal. The only bad thing about heart health that we want us to be aware of is the saturated fat. And this is something that I teach children and adults, something that is totally under your control. You wanna look at food labels to see how much saturated fat is in your food. You can look at margarines, oils, nuts, but especially animal products. So with your cheeses, even like a part skim mozzarella, this has three and a half grams per ounce. We wanna try to get at least 20 or grams I should say the max 20 grams or less of saturated fat a day. Not total fat, just the saturated fat. That's that solid nasty fat that can build up in our heart. Now let's go on to more of the fun foods. Dessert um, and oils, all these things are, are delicious. They're very high in calories, so we still want to use smaller amounts of them. But when I bake at home, I like to use dark cocoa and an oil, usually an olive oil or canola. So I'm keeping away from a lot of the saturated fats. Totally delicious, healthy, and will keep you living just that much longer. For people who don't have to watch their calories, I do encourage them to get um, chips, not so many crackers that have the trans fat, which is the other code for nasty um, heart clogging fat. But when you buy chips, make sure that it just has a vegetable oil, corn or potato, and this one only has one gram saturated fat per serving. So that's awesome. If you would like more tips, maybe I'll share my chocolate cake recipe on Sarah RD TV. Thank you for watching. Those are pistachios. I like pistachios. You like pistachios? <laughs> what else do you like on here? Strawberry. Strawberry. What's that? That's the margarine for toast. Oh. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good? That's it. No, I don't want to touch it. Put your shirt down. <laughs> Put your shirt down. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Okay.